This painting is a remarkable example of the kind of portraiture for which Parmigianino has long been celebrated. Though the identity of the sitter is unknown, the artist has captured the force of his personality very powerfully. The figure is positioned in a corner, and the perspective of the high window enhances our sense of three-dimensional space. The handsome gentleman, with a full beard and dark eyes, seems to glance rather warily in our direction. The angle of his head and his severe expression suggest a not entirely welcome intrusion into his privacy. He holds an elegantly bound leather book in one gloved hand. The thumb of his other hand has been slipped between the pages to mark his place, as if we've interrupted his reading. This ungloved hand emerges from the shadow of a dazzling white cuff, the long, tapering figures ending in perfectly manicured nails. Parmigianino painted a variety of different types of image, including religious and mythological subjects. He was also one of the great draftsmen of his time, and his skill as a portraitist was praised by Giorgio Vasari in his famous book, Lives of the Artists. As his name suggests, he worked in Parma in northern Italy, somewhat in the shadow of Correggio, the most famous painter working in the city in the early years of the 16th century. And he may have become interested in portraiture due to Correggio's lack of interest in the subject. Like several of his other portraits, this painting of an anonymous gentleman is distinguished by a keen sense of psychological penetration and a chilly but highly dignified elegance. <laughs>